I have no clue what bits have been changed. As far as I know, uh, every movement my mouth made in that movie, my mouth made. So you know how expensive editing a facial expression can be. In fact, anything that deals with facial performances has been one of the most researched part of film and animation. From lip sync to subtle facial nuances that just makes the facial expression believable. This in itself has not only sparked the spiral of tech, but has also brought about a faster and a more efficient way of face puppeteering and facial performance. And amongst the part of the face that we get to focus on when seeing a movie character or an animated piece, somehow we just simply gravitate to paying attention to the lips. And with new tech perfecting lip sync, one place we all struggle with lip sync versus audio is when we get to watch an animated piece or a movie with a foreign dubbed audio. Your names are so long winded. It's a miracle you ever get to fighting at all. And we've all been there and we've seen it in some of our favorite foreign movies and in most times it's pretty hard to unify the lip performance and the audio they would listen into. For sure, in most cases we sit through the entire movie or animation because of the love of the performer or the story itself. But then, what if we can enjoy movies where the facial performance of the actors blend seamlessly with the dubbed audio and they sound pretty natural? Well, that is what the folks at Flawless AI have been perfecting and working on for some time now, with their new innovative tool called True Sync, which is an impressive face mapping AI analysis lip movement to line up translated dubbing audio tool. This tech has been around for some time and they've been working on this to get the most out of it. And with this particular technology growing, this is now considered to be the new mode of performance adjustment as the AI technology is the world's first system with the power of visual dubbing with an unlimited set of new possibilities that allows for a faster and efficient AI reshoot that offers impressive, authentic and perfectly lip-synced visual translation. This AI is relatively new and the science behind this comes from a load of research in areas of natural rendering, human face digitization, video segmentation and applied machine learning. Although, one of the biggest buzz highlights for this so far was from the movie called The Fall, which the actors were filmed practically on a tall tower and there were loads of F-bombs which wasn't suitable for kids. And with the AI tool, the R-rated movie is now PG-13 and can be watched across various languages. Now we're stuck on this stupid tower in the middle of nowhere. And I don't blame you and now we're stuck on this stupid Stuck on this stupid freaking tower in the middle of freaking nowhere. And it's all my fault. And we all know, except for some R rated movies that did well in the box office, most R rated movies do not perform as much like many PG 13 movies. And with this sort of AI available, this means that both animators and filmmakers will now be able to offer movies in multiple ratings and languages. Although this currently seems to be an in-house slash limited to production tool, but hopefully we would have the chance to play with this in the coming months or years. With this set of tools available, only time will tell the intriguing and complementary set of tools that we will have an opportunity to play with. As recently, we talked about a very impressive AI tool that just simply allows you to throw in a 3D model and then it will place an entire actor with full motion capture, lighting and compositing baked into one. And slowly, we're beginning to see more and more AI tools get into film and for sure, in one way or the other, this is definitely going to help substitute all of those liberal reshoots and make life easy for filmmakers. And for those who like to take a look at this or probably see all of the references that we just talked about, links to this is going to be in the description, so do well to check it out. I would like to know what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'd like to see you guys in the next one. Peace.